Question of the day, how many skinny white girls can fit in one tiny car? So hey guys, Dream Foxer, and this was just one of many attempts of people trying to break a world record worldwide today for Guinness World Record Day. And the number of girls in that car was... Well, keep trying to guess as you look at some of these pictures of this group of gym girls trying to break that record. So, do you guys have a guess ready? Because they broke the record by just one person compared to last year's. And that number was 28 freaking girls squished in a tiny ass car. And I'm just wondering how the hell they managed to do this. All these girls you see got pretty close and personal for those 18 plus minutes that it took them to finally get the last person in and break the record. And for an extra, I want those of you that have drank in the past to think back to the, what was the most embarrassing or just worst thing that happened to you when you got shit-faced drunk and compare to Courtney's story. So here's 22-year-old Courtney that got so fucked up that she blacked out and when she woke up, she was pancaked between two walls of an alley while at the same time being around two feet up in the air. But what exactly were the set of events that happened for her to end up there? Well, I imagine that she was so fucked up that she went outside, saw this 8-inch alley, and just thought to herself, yeah, this will be a shortcut if I could just make it through. So when the firefighters finally got there, after an hour and 30 minutes, they just buttered her out. <laughs> and I just can't get over this. Why was she hanging two feet in the air? I just picture her, with her big head, just dangling in between the walls, while the firefighters try to get her out. And last up, are you guys ready for the zombie apocalypse because December 21st is just a little bit over a month away. But if you're like the common folk, like most of us, you're gonna become infected or just die off. But not those with money. Because there's a series of underground bunkers scattered throughout the world that are up for sale. But there's also multiple amounts of these places that exist that have already been sowed. And those people are just patiently waiting. So anyway guys, am I in 2012? Are you guys prepared? Or maybe you just think those people are just playing crazy? Leave me your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.